Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back for the season four preview. We have got a hell of a year ahead of us. Of course, we are, we are back into Europe. Can we really pull off a shot in Europe? If we even make the knockout stages, I will be absolutely delighted. Starting off this year, we are playing Liverpool at home. Of course, we played Liverpool last year, the start of the year, which is a, I think it was a, a 4 3 defeat in the end. Fantastic game that was the start of the year. Um, we won't be playing Liverpool for the first episode, though. Our first episode will actually be Tottenham. So that'll be our first episode. But before we get into the season, let's just go over what I've been up to. So transfers made this season. Of course, there are a few. There were a few players we've already signed um, last season, which were Javi Katir, a, a eight or what seventeen, eight, now eighteen year old left foot striker. Fantastic actually. He's fifteen dribbling, fifteen finishing, fourteen first touch, sixteen technique, uh, fourteen composure, fourteen. Uh, Determination of flair, 15 off the ball, 16 teamwork, 13 work rate. There's physicals as well, look fantastic. 14 acceleration, 14 pace, 18 fitness, 14 strength, six foot as well. This guy should be a fantastic player for us. I am planning on having him as the, the main striker player alongside uh, Flami, of course, that gives a bit of balance to the team with him being left foot and Flami being right foot. I'm very excited for how he could turn out. We also have signed a Attacking midfielder called Dirk Proper. He's a attacking midfielder brought in from NEC in, in Holland. Decent prospects. He's got good determination at 11 and 14 leadership. Determination could improve. And um, physicals is not too bad. It's got, it's got some uh, nice green, green numbers there. He's also got some good technicals. Finishing could be a bit better, but I'm sure we'll be able to push that up as soon as we can. Positioning also a lot to improve. Joel Afonso is another strike we bought in for £625,000. Again, another prospect up front. Um, good technicals and physicals looking good. Balance and jump reach could do some improving. But a right foot, team work also needs improving. Again, the 18 year old, it's five, five star potential ability. We are hoping he's going to become a big player for us. Javier Ibiro, a young left back, we signed a 2 million from CA Osasuna. Again, good physicals, good mentals. His technicals are okay, they could do improvement, but again, he's young, so we want to, to concentrate on. I think he's crossing and dribbling is a concern, but we can, I'm sure we can improve that as well to the standard that we need for our complete fullbacks. But with a fairly professional personality and 5 foot 11, I think he could be a good left back for us. Casey Palmer signed on a free transfer from Chelsea. Starts a game with Chelsea with good potential. He's still got um, room for a one and a half star potential growth. Um, good, good technicals, good mentals, good physicals. I'm planning on him to be the, the rotation attacking midfielder for us. Obviously, Dazelle now being pushed back to midfield as one of our um, start and first uh, first team starters. Casey Palmer looks like a good prospect. 24 years old, still got good room for improvement. Hope he can, he can really do well for us. Conrad Lamar, of course, we already know we've signed the player who done brilliant on loan for us last year. I'm absolutely delighted to have signed him in. Um, on £49,500 per week, he's on a lot of wages, but I think he's worth it for his performances that he um, gave to us last year. We've also signed Timothy Castagni, again, a player we had on loan last season, six foot, a six foot right back. Good good physicals, good mentals, good technicals. Fits these uh, complete ring back role to a T, and I recommend you guys sign him if you can. We managed to get him for £2 million, which is brilliant. Matthew Target, a left back, we signed from Southampton for two and a half million. A player I did look at signing last year, if you remember, but Southampton were looking for like 15, 20 million, which I just didn't think was worth it. His contract had a year to run, so I swooped in and took him off for Southampton very happily. Good physicals, good mentals, good technicals, just a brilliant, complete wing back, six foot tall as well. Third left foot and personality and resolute, fits us brilliantly. He'll be rotated with Empress this year. Chavi Katia, we've already spoken about, we've also signed another right back called Pedro Gamma from SC Bro for 1.1 million. Again, a young player with a lot of room for potential, potential growth. And I will have what now three right backs this year because we've also signed Alexis Sailmakers um, from who's he from a Belgian club from uh, Anderlecht 18 million player I saw last year and what to sign but they were like 30 40 million at the time um, the kit here matching boots I don't think I need to really say much about him he just looks absolutely fantastic and 22 years old this guy could be the future of the club if we can continue to grow with him great technicals great mentals great physical what a brilliant player I'm so happy to bring him in. Of course, that does mean we've got now uh, what five right backs. We've got Salmakers, Garma just bought in, Castagna just bought in, and just four right backs. Sorry, and also got Fonseca. 
Um, I might try and offload Fonseca and keep Sam Akers and Constagni as my main two right backs. Obviously, Fonseca we signed on a free. If we can get five to six million for him back, that would be absolutely brilliant. As far as players leaving the club, we've got Lawrence Shankland has gone to Dundee United for £140,000. Shankland was a player we bought in, I think, in the first or second season, first season, £125,000. Didn't really set the world right for us. Um, I give him plenty of opportunities in the Championship, but he didn't really do very well. Uh, we've made £15,000 profit, which isn't too bad considering he hasn't played a lot. We've also moved on Miles Kenlock, a left back who has done well and called upon. However, we've got some better options now and we've decided to cash in £800,000 to win the Blackburn. Lunas Fudil, one of our young players, was released and went to Trellisic FC for free. We've also got a new affiliation with Burton Albion where we can loan them players. We have loaned out Lee Dent, who's a course midfielder, attacking midfielder striker, and hopefully they get some game time improve. Richard Wusu, we've also loaned out a good, strong, tall centre back. Hopefully, he can get some good games under his belt. Barry Cotter, he's been in the club since the beginning of the save. He's, he's actually, his physicals have really improved since the beginning of the game, but he's not really good at make our first team. We've loaned him out, but realistically, is he going to still? Is he going to make the first team ever? I don't think he is. But he could potentially be a good backup if he keeps improving. We've also loaned out Craig Allen to Burton, one of our, our young youth intake players from last year, I believe. Um, yeah, his pistols are good, but his technicals and mentals are really, really poor. If he can have a good year with Burton and prove his, his attributes, he could come back and be a backup player for us. Marcus Madison, a, a, a winger we signed from Peterborough in the first, is it the first season, Marcus Madison. Um, he has 2.2 million yet from, it was from Peterborough. He's done very, very well, but of course our tactics now change. We don't need inside forwards. We've loaned him out to Birmingham. Hopefully, they'll, they'll put an offer in and try and sign him. We've also loaned out Fernando Fonseca, as he's no, now no longer needed. £60,000 a month, they're paying most of his wages. Again, there is a, an optional fee for them to sign him if they wish. So, Premier League, as you can see, board expectation this season is mid-table. We just click on the Premier League and go to stages and then go to uh, media prediction. Media are predicting us to be in a relegation battle again. I hope that's not the case. I hope to be able to finish in seventh again. I don't think we can be strong enough to push into the top six just yet. But if we can at least finish in the top, in the top half of the table, I'll be very, very happy. As far as the other board expectations go, we obviously are in the Euro, Euro, UEFA Europa League this year and we enter in the group stage on the 16th and 9th, 2021. Our expectation is to reach the first knockout round. Obviously being new to the Europa League, we are going to be in the, the lower seeds, so we are going to be joining some big teams which should make it difficult for us, but hopefully we can upset the odds as we did last year and push through to the knockout stages. Due to making Europa League last season, that does now mean that our expectations in the Cups are also increased. We expect to reach a fifth round in the FA Cup, of course we enter in the third, and due to being in Europe, we now enter the Carabao Cup in the third round and are expected to reach the fourth round. With all the transfers in mind, our overall balance is now left on 9.9 .9 million, with still a transfer budget of 24 million to be used. Projection for the end of the year is 47 million, 77 the end of the next 112 in three years time so friendlies we have got we have we have decided to go for some strong friendlies again we had don Kiev start off away we drew 1-1 one, one. we then had sport lisbon away we lost 4-1 we then played rio alve and we won 4-1 blind downs harrison barks and fonseca with the goals also fed them for we then played atletico bilbao and we won 4-1 joel afonso solskjaer and javi Gutier and conrad lamar with the goals a brilliant win that was we then played Valencia at home, drew 3-3, three, three. Dirk Proppel with a double and Pedro Embus at the back post. A good, good ball in from the right from Fonseca, however he has been loaned out now. We then finished our pre-season with a 2-0 home win at the event. That's a fantastic win this was. Matthew Target score as well as Ben Falami. So we head into the new season with a very, very, very young squad. As you can see, our youngest player is 16 and apart from Jalkowski, our oldest player is 25. Got a very, very young squad, a lot of improvement to be done, but hopefully that will be good for us. You know, the ability is still there. Our best player is Sal Makers of Four Star with Ben Falami, Ben Davies, and Herbie Kane, and Freddie Woodman, and Gustavi, and Leila, all on three and a half stars. Our most valuable player is uh, Sal Makers on 21 million, and of course, Herbie Kane, 16 million. 
Casey Farmer a player we bought in a free transfer is worth 14 million, so we could maybe try and sell him a couple of years and make a decent profit on him. Start of the season, the dynamics are looking good. Match cohesion could be better, but that will build as the season goes on with the match reviews and, and uh, team bonding and, and sessions and stuff like that. Dressing room atmosphere is very good and managerial support is very good. We just click on the hierarchy. We can see that on my manager, I have got most of the dressing, dressing room supporting me. Players that aren't supporting me are newer signings, but I'm sure within a month or so, these players will be on my side. Of course, the last couple of seasons, Flynn Downs has been our captain, but his performances have not been very good, and he has been pushed out of the first team squad, which has meant I would have looked for a new captain. I've decided to go for Ben Davies, a left back, who is I expect to be here for a few years. I was considering using what more but I'm not sure how long he will stay here for, to be honest. So Ben Davies in him was my selection as the main captain now. It did upset Jack Watmore as he felt he was a better candidate than Ben Davies. We can see on the, on the happiness, happiness here that um, feels like well, he hasn't got it on there now, but he, at first he wasn't happy that Ben Davies got the captain because he thought he was a better candidate. So the Herbie came, but now they're back on side. Social groups looking good. Most of the players make up the core social group. Of course, the secondary and others are filled up with newer players. These guys will fit in very quickly, I'm sure. I don't think there's a whole lot to go through now, guys. I think that's pretty much it for the season four preview. We have got Liverpool at home first, then Chelsea away. Then Tottenham at home and Man City away. What a tough start to the league that is. Four of the top six teams in the first four games. We've then got Cardiff Leeds, probably in less than you pass West Ham Day. After that, a fairly decent, more decent sort of run of games that we can see winnable. Um, out of these four games, I'll be happy if we can come away with I mean, two home games, maybe two two draws or maybe at least one win out of all these games would be fantastic but I'm not expecting a whole lot. We will be back for the Tottenham game. We didn't play Tottenham in any live comms last year. Of course we did play Chelsea and Liverpool so it makes sense to do Tottenham this year. So we'll be back for the Tottenham game guys. I hope you guys are as excited as me. Some new signings. Sal Makers I'm very very excited to use. He looks like a brilliant player and I hope Gutierre can also um, and score some goals and make up for loss of Pellegri. Hopefully Kater and Flamin can form a nice partnership and that'll be a decent strike force for us this year. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, 6 for usual time for the Tottenham game. Come on you blues! Come on!